Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you cannot connect to Skype properly on your computer. So we're going to jump into it and we're going to start by opening up the start menu just by left clicking on the start button one time. Then you want to type a percent sign followed by app data and another percent sign. So again, percent sign, app data, percent sign, no spaces. You want to open up the best match here, should be a file folder and that should be where we want to go. Okay, so now that we're in this folder here, you want to delete the Skype folder. So, see the Skype right here, you want to right click on it, left click on delete. Once you've deleted that, I would suggest restarting your computer. So just go ahead and restart your computer. See if that's resolved your problem. Now if it has not, I would suggest another step to do would be to open up the start menu again. Type in internet properties or internet options and then select the best match should say internet options for right above control panel again what version of Windows you're running is going to dictate exactly how that looks but just to give you guys an idea and then you want to go up and left click on the connection tab up at the top left click on the land settings button right here so you want to make sure automatically the text settings is checkmarked and if proxy server is checkmarked in here you want to disconnect it unless of course you want it to be connected to a proxy server but if for some reason you were accidentally hooked up with that, that will turn it off. So again, hopefully that has been able to resolve your problem. Would we'll restart your computer as well. And there's one further thing we can do. So actually if I reopened up the internet properties folder, or internet options I should say. And again I would suggest you guys restart your computer in between. So I'm going to go back underneath internet options here. And now I'm going to go underneath the advanced tab, left clicking on it one time. And then underneath Reset Internet Explorer Settings, Reset Internet Explorer Settings to their default condition. I'm going to left click on Reset here, and then I'm going to left click on Reset after check marking inside Delete Personal Settings. Please note it will remove everything listed up here, so just take a quick look at it. I'm going to left click on Reset, and hopefully that would have resolved the problem as well. And believe it or not, there is one more thing that on the top of my head I could think of that could have some success for you guys. And that would again would be to go underneath Internet Options. I promise this is the last time we're going to be going under here for this tutorial. And then I'm going to head over to the Advanced tab once again. Scroll down until you get to the Use TLS section. So uh, I've got to go down a little bit here. So you want to make sure Use TLS 1.0 is checkmarked. And you want to make sure anything, honestly, that has TLS in it is also checkmarked. So pretty straightforward. Again, make sure they're all checkmarked in here. Left click on OK. Would recommend restarting your computer. And hopefully that's resolved your problem. So as always, thank you for watching. Do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.